This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why do meshes from 3ds Max appear faceted inside a ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a simple cylinder 3D object here loaded in. Now the question is asking about importing a model from 3ds Max, and when it reaches ZBrush, it appears faceted. So why is this happening? So to start off, we just need to first talk about how ZBrush is displaying normals inside the application. So ZBrush will always render models without smoothing. So this means that it's going to display the mesh without smoothing groups applied. So the amount of topology you have on a mesh is going to determine how smooth it looks. So this cylinder shape here, as you can see, since it does not have a lot of resolution, is getting this faceted effect around the surface. And this is true for any models that are also imported in from other applications, such as 3D Studio Max. So as an example of this, I'm just going to go to 3D Studio Max here. So here inside of 3D Studio Max, as an example, we have a teapot primitive. And by default, inside of 3D Studio Max here, the model is looking smooth. So it does have some facets that are appearing along the outer silhouette, but in general, the model looks like a smooth mesh. So I'm just going to take this model and send it over to ZBrush. So I'm going to come up here to the Go Z option here, and I'm just simply going to click Edit in ZBrush. So here we have the model that has been sent using Go Z from 3D Studio Mac. And you'll notice that the model is no longer appearing smooth. So this is the same topology that the model had inside of 3D Studio Max, except now, since it's not being displayed with smooth normals inside of ZBrush, you're getting this result. So it's no longer looking smooth. So in order to send a model from 3ds Max to ZBrush and have it appear smooth, you just need to increase the topology. So I'm going to go back to 3D Studio Max. And in here, we have the teapot again, which is looking smooth. Now, one thing you can do before you increase the topology on this model is just change how 3D Studio Max is displaying the shading. So right now, this is set to default shading up at the top here. And if I click this, I can change it just to display the facets. And this is going to give you the exact same result you will get inside of ZBrush. So clicking this option here, you're now going to see the teapot in its faceted form. And this is consistent with the result we had once this teapot reached ZBrush. So now by displaying the model with these facets, we can now increase the topology on this in order to get it to look smooth. And now if it looks smooth inside of 3D Studio Max, it will also look smooth inside of ZBrush. So there are a few ways you can increase the topology on this teapot model here. So I could come over here and just increase the segments, which is going to increase how many divisions this teapot has. Or I could also go to the modifier list here and apply a turbo smooth. And then now I can just increase the alliterations on this turbo smooth. And you just want to increase it until you can no longer see any of those facets on the mesh. So I have a turbo smooth with alliteration set to three and now this teapot is looking smooth. So now with the teapot looking like this and being displayed with those facets instead of the default shading, now if I send this to ZBrush by coming up here and going to Go Z and now clicking Edit in ZBrush. So now if we go back to ZBrush, this is the result we're gonna get. And this is now displaying this teapot in a smooth form. So since we have sent the model from 3D Studio Max with enough topology, it is now appearing correct inside of ZBrush. Now this mesh does have quite a bit of topology compared to the original version, so now we're up to 165,000 points here. And if you turn on the polyframes here, you can see that the mesh is pretty dense. So you just wanna take into account when you're sending models from 3ds Max to ZBrush, that you're sending models with enough topology since ZBrush is not going to have any normal smoothing applied to the model. So you just wanna make sure your model is dense enough to be displayed as a smooth mesh when it's being viewed in a faceted mode. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.